taken a look at the parts of a shoulder plane and seen how to adjust them, let's see how they can be used. We've talked about the shoulder planes mainly being used for trimming the shoulders on tenons. Here I've got a cherry board that's set up with a rabbit with end grain very similar to the shoulder of a tenon. I'm going to use the small shoulder plane to work this rabbit. The reason I'm using the small shoulder plane is because its smaller size is comfortable for my hand, since I've got smaller hands, and yet the shoulder plane is also wide enough to ensure that I'm taking off the entire shoulder. I'm going to use a right-handed grip here, which means the bronze cap is going to fit into my palm, my index finger is going to point forward, and my left hand is going to help guide the plane by not only putting pressure down on the toe, but also helping push the plane towards my reference surface. Because I've got the reference surface here, I've already adjusted this plane so that the blade is flush to my reference side. That is a beautiful end grain shaving. You can also use a shoulder plane to adjust groove depth. For this, I'm going to use the medium shoulder plane because this is the largest shoulder plane that will fit inside the groove. I could use the smaller shoulder plane. If I do, I would be certain to take one stroke referencing this side of the groove and to take the next stroke referencing this side of the groove in order to make sure that I keep the bottom of my groove flat across. But since I have the medium shoulder plane, I'm going to go ahead and use this. For this, I'm going to demonstrate a left-handed grip. Again, I'm going to take the bronze cap and fit it into my left palm, taking my index finger and pointing it forward along the plane. I'll take my right hand and hold the front of the plane. As I'm beginning the stroke, I'll want to put extra pressure down on the toe of the plane In the center of the stroke, my pressure is going to be even all the way across the sole, and as I end the stroke, I'm going to have extra pressure on the heel of the plane. This is a thicker shaving, because at this point, I'm trying to go ahead and bring that groove down. So I'm taking off extra material when working a groove. For the long grain of the rabbit, I'm going to go ahead and use the large shoulder plane. The large shoulder plane will come out along the rabbit here and has lots of mass in order to take off the material. I'm going to go back to my right-handed grip here, fold the bronze cap into my palm, and use my left hand to help guide the front of the plane. This is just a small sampling of the types of joints and work that you can do with the shoulder planes. Now let's take a look at how to take care of your planes. After each use, we recommend wiping down your planes with a light coat of camellia oil. This light white oil will help prevent rust from forming on your plane. If you spray a rag, you'll only put on the light coat that's needed. You can then use the rag to wipe down the plane. By taking the same rag and storing it in a baggie for future use, you'll eventually saturate the rag with oil. Therefore, you won't need to add fresh oil onto the rag each time, and you'll be able to conserve the oil that you've purchased. For longer term storage or for transport, we recommend plain socks. These socks are treated with silicon to help prevent rust from forming. And if you're transporting your plane, they'll help protect your plane from dents and dings along the way. If you do get rust on your plane, consider using a Sandflex block. The Sandflex blocks are a light abrasive in a binder, and they act very much like a rust eraser. Simply take the Sandflex block and rub it on the rusted area, and the rust will disappear. 
Many woodworkers enjoy the patina that forms on the bronze parts of their tools with age. However, if you'd like to restore these parts to their original shine, consider using a sunshine polishing cloth. These polishing cloths can be used not only on the bronze portions of your tools, but also on jewelry and other metals around the house. Our tool care kit includes everything that we've talked about here except for the plain socks. But what it does include is ferro pack paper, which is a rust preventative paper that you can use to wrap your planes in, and a small block of wax, which can be used to lubricate your plane soles to make planing easier. Thank you for watching our segment on shoulder planes.